I haven't done anything that shows the performance of this uh, uh, board here so what I thought I would do now is I'd like to go through and do some testing of this board and uh, see how well it performs. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to measure what the insertion loss is. Uh, so once, this, once I put this board in, what does it uh, actually do to the signal? How much is it going to deteriorate the signal? So in this test setup, what I've got, I've, just as before, I've got a uh, phone here that's going to generate a 1500 hertz tone into a microphone. It's going to go through the transceiver. It's going to get transmitted out and it's going to go to a dummy load and I'll have my scope probe here uh, I'll connect that up to the antenna port and I'll be able to check the voltage uh, that's being trans transmitted and uh, what I can compare is I can con compare the voltage when the SWR bridge is not connected and then measure the voltage when the SWR bridge is, is, is connected and I can do a dB calculation to see uh, how much loss there is. I've got the audio generated, I've got the push to talk on and it's transmitting a signal and that is the voltage there for the bridge not in place and it's about 49.6 uh, volts peak to peak. So I've now inserted the bridge and let's take a look at the voltage that's coming out of the or, or the voltage at the antenna and right there it's 46.6 .6, roughly about 46.6 .6 volts uh, peak to peak my voltmeter is now connected to the reverse port and so let's take a look at what the reverse voltage is and the reverse voltage is 0 0.10 volts and that's for a 50 ohm load the voltmeter is now connected to the forward port and we're seeing 2.24 volts for the forward port for a 50 ohm load I've now connected a 100 ohm resistor instead of a 50 ohm dummy load and uh, that's now connected to the antenna of the transmitter so let's go ahead and transmit a signal and let's see what our forward and reverse voltage is for this uh, configuration so our forward voltage is 1.92 volts the voltmeter is now connected to the reverse port and we're seeing 0.66 volts on the reverse port. I'd like to go through the calculations now for the bridge. So I've got my data, the voltages I measured here. This is the voltage uh, at the, the antenna with no bridge and here's the voltage uh, at the antenna with the bridge. So from that we can calculate the insertion loss which is simply 20 uh, log of the voltage with the bridge uh, compared to the voltage without the bridge, no bridge and uh, that comes out if you do the calculation it comes out to be approximately 0.54 dB so we're losing about half a dB uh, with the bridge as, uh, as it's uh, configured and connected to the circuit and it's also connected in a very sloppy manner so we might be able to improve that a little bit so here's the voltages we measured um, at the bridge for the forward and reverse uh, voltages for in the case when the transceiver is terminated with 50 ohms and when it's terminated with 100 ohms. So when it's terminated 50 ohms we can calculate the SWR and it's basi basically the sum of the forward and reverse vo uh, voltages divided by the difference and uh, that gives us our SWR. So in the case of 50 ohms we plug in the values and we come out with uh, 1.09 and that's giving us a SWR of uh, 1 to 1 1.1. So that is what we would expect for a 50 ohm load. So for a 100 ohm load since it's two times 50 ohms we'd expect a, a uh, SWR of uh, 1 to 2. 
So let's go ahead and calculate that. So we take our voltages we measured, plug it into our formula, and it comes out to 2.05, and our SWR is uh, 1 to 2.0, well, 1 to 2.05, but and for all intents and purposes, it's uh, uh, 1 to 2. And uh, that is what we would expect with the 100 ohm load. So it looks as if that bridge is uh, working properly and we've got a fairly low insertion loss. So uh bridge looks as if uh, it's good to go.